I'm wearing this shirt because it accurately depicts how I'm feeling right now. Let's have coffee. Hey, what's up? I know it has been a hot minute since I have actually sat down in front of a camera and filmed a video for you. I know I uploaded a video on Tuesday that explained things a little bit, but I wanted to kind of get into it more as to why my upload schedule has been so whack and like things that have been going on in my life. Obviously, it is a let's have coffee so that means we are talking about mental health today. And to be completely honest, my mental health has been really, really bad. I'm dissociating a lot more. I'm very, very out of my head. A lot of times I'm watching what's going on in my life from like the corner of a room. And when I'm not doing that, it seems like the depression part of my BPD is really kind of taking over and making everything absolutely horrible on me. Like I'm lying in bed and I legitimately can't move. I can't do anything because I have no energy to get up. I have no motivation to do anything. And that motivation is where the lack of videos comes in. Video making and producing content and being able to help people and do things like that is one of the biggest, most important things in my life. And the fact that I'm not even having enough energy or motivation to get up and do that says a lot and means that it's something pretty serious. A while back, I put a video on my side channel kind of explaining my situation and why I felt so crappy. And it was very raw and very real. I don't know if a lot of you have seen it. I know it has a lot of views for some reason. And I had mentioned how I had lost my insurance, which meant that I had also lost the therapist that I had been seeing for like four years. Well, recently, my mother got a new job, and with that job comes insurance for the whole family until I'm like 23. So I have insurance again, and yesterday I was actually able to go and see my therapist for the first time in like six months, which was incredible. I cannot stress how important consistent therapy is, especially if you know it helps you, and then you go on a break without therapy, it really just messes with you and screws everything up. Like, I'm feeling a little bit better today, and I think part of the reason I'm feeling a little bit better is because I did have a therapy appointment yesterday. But again, back with motivation, the reason my hair is back in this little uh, man bun type thing is because I honestly cannot remember remember the last time I had enough energy to get up and shower or bathe like I take baths sometimes. I have been having such a hard time recently that I literally haven't been able to shower or clean myself. I can't remember the last time I brushed my teeth, which is absolutely disgusting, but like, again, I never formed a habit of it because I was always mentally ill. And my brain is just genuinely in a bad place and I honestly don't know why. Like, I everything seems to be going really well and everything is happening and things are going well and things are going good. My grammar there was atrocious, please ignore that. It just doesn't make any sense as to why I feel so crappy and the reasons why I feel so crappy. I am going to challenge myself more to get up, get out, actively film videos and make sure that I have videos prepped for the next week, like a week before they're up, so I actually have videos going out and I have time to chill and veg if I need to because my mental illness gets so bad. And I wish I had a better explanation for you of why I haven't uploaded, like, oh, I've been working on all of these cool projects, but really, no, it's like, I've been doing my shop stuff and I've been laying down because I genuinely feel so horrible that I can't get up and do anything and I'm so worried that if I were to film a video, I would not be happy with the quality content that comes out of that. Because you guys know me, I don't put out content that I'm not proud of, I don't put out content that I'm not happy with, that's just like a requirement of me and my channel. I, it has kind of grown to be into that like six months after I started my channel, but you know, that's how I've kind of lived and run my channel since. And it's just something I have to work through, I guess. I think that's all I have to talk about, really. I hope all of you that are at VidCon right now have a really, really wonderful time at VidCon. And I wanted to give a shout out to my friend Aurora, who just hit 10 thousand subscribers, which is absolutely insane and like blows me out of the water and she makes such incredible content So I wanted to give her a little shout out in a video and I'll put her link in the description down below You should definitely go check her out or you can just search her channel. It is Aurora Skies. Her content's amazing. She's really great She has no idea I'm saying this either. So 
If you enjoyed this video, found it relatable, or kind of understand the things that I'm going through, you can give it a thumbs up and tell me your experiences with your mental illness or your experience around other people with mental illness down in the comments below. I would really love to read and respond and just hear some of your stories and what you guys are going through as well because it helps me feel like I'm not alone and I really appreciate that. If you hit the buttons on the screen, it'll take you to subscribe to all of my channels. And the video box will take you to my last video. And if you click that notification bell down below, you will be notified whenever I upload a new video which is twice a week hopefully now that'll be a thing I love you guys lots and I will see you on Tuesday goodbye